is Sheila Keeter here. I am your teacher for inclusion. I have a Teachers Pay Teacher shop called Teacher for Inclusion, as well as a blog called Teacher for Inclusion. If you like videos about Teachers Pay Teachers, then don't forget to hit subscribe. So today we're gonna talk about creating videos without even having to use your camera. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm gonna go ahead and take you to my Teachers Pay Teachers store. And I'm gonna show you how, first what the video looks like, and then I'm gonna show you how to create it. It's really, really simple. So let's go to one of my newer listings. Okay. This is a novel study called Wink by Rob Harrell. And we're gonna go ahead and watch a video of this particular product. So note how you can see this very clearly and easily. And again, um, you don't have to even use a camera. You can use Canva. They have great animation that you can add to each slide. And I'll show you how to do each slide in just a moment and how to add animation. It's really simple. So I put in here something to point out or where I want the person to focus. So if I circle something, then it shows, like this is a roll the dice activity. That's just the dice is more for fun. This is a one pager assignment. Um, I could put a circle around the word one pager so that the focus is on what the assignment is. Here I have an arrow pointed to the one pager template. And then here is a animated circle around plot diagram structure. We have purpose of reading. Now it goes a little bit slow, but if you are someone who is buying a product, you're gonna wanna see the slideshow in like a slower motion. So this isn't all of the slides, okay? This is just um, some of the product. All right, so let's take a look at how to do this. When you're in Canva, you're gonna hit create. You're going to do a eight by 11, okay? A paper size slide. So you're going to, let's say, resize eight by 11 and voila, there you go. Let's go ahead and do a new page. So you're gonna upload from your computer each page of your resource that you want to show, okay? So these are uploads. I've already uploaded these pages. So I'm gonna scroll down and find one of the pages. You'll have them all in the front. So let's do this one here. You'll notice that your pages fit perfectly when it's eight by 11, okay? Then I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to type in animation. Okay. And then you'll have all kinds of choices here. You can do some kind of fireworks. You can do, let's see, like an underline well, that's in white. So that's not going to work. We're gonna find a circle, or you can do, here's some arrows, okay? That one works perfectly. So this shows that it is a philosophical chair discussion and it points to the agree or disagree category. Let's go ahead and look at this one. So I went ahead and already uploaded this page of my resource. And I'm going to do a circle. These are all in white. And for some reason, I can't change the color. 
Um, let's just do, I probably wouldn't do a circle this bright, but you get the idea. I'd find a black circle. Okay, so then it circles around the um, word storyboard. Okay, so you get the idea. Um, I'll show you one more. Go to uploads, find your page. Size it correctly to size eight by 11. Then go to elements, type in animation, and then find the animation you want to use. Let's do a box. Let's see if we can change this color. No, we cannot. Let's do an arrow. Okay, so I want the arrow to point to plot diagram. All right, so there we go. It's pointing to plot diagram. Once you're finished, you're gonna download the whole thing as an MP4 video. And this will translate and work perfectly for the video section of your preview. So then you just go to your store. Um, once you're done with this, you go to video preview and you upload your presentation. And then people can look very clearly and closely at your video, which I think works better than using a camera, a camera phone. Okay, so you'll note here that I've uploaded the video. And for some reason, it's not showing it right now, but I think we've gotten the idea. Oh, there we go. So there's storyboard and there is the plot diagram. Okay, I'm gonna close this out. And we are all set. Please note that if you have Google Slides, um, a Google resource, for some reason they don't have a video preview for that yet, they probably will. Um, it only works for your PowerPoint resources, which is one of the reasons I love to use PowerPoint. All right, I hope you learned something and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much, bye-bye.